In today's world, we create a massive amount of information every day. To understand and use all this data, companies use advanced technologies. In this video on top big data technologies in 2024, we will learn about the top big data technologies that are changing how we analyze data. These tools help us process data and use it for the things like machine learning. From managing and processing data to conducting sophisticated machine learning analysis, these technologies play an important role in using the immense power of data. They are like the tools in a data scientist toolbox, enabling businesses to make informed decisions, optimize operations, and gain a competitive edge. So let's get started with this video. But before we begin, let me ask you a quick question. So which technology is commonly used for processing and analyzing big data? Option A is Apache Hadoop. Option B is Microsoft Excel. Option C is Adobe Photoshop. And option D is JavaScript. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. So let's start exploring these important technologies. First technology on the list is Apache Hadoop. Apache Hadoop is like a superhero of the big data world. It is an amazing open source tool that's been at the heart of big data revolution. Think of it as a magical framework that's specially designed to handle and make sense of incredibly huge piles of data, all while using a bunch of regular computers. Now, the secret sauce of Hadoop is its two main parts that is Hadoop Distributed File Systems, that is HDFS and MapReduce. HDFS is like a super organized librarian that keeps all your data neatly in order and MapReduce is like a team of super fast workers who can process this data lightning quick. The cool thing about Hadoop is that it can work with many regular everyday computers making it super flexible and cost effective. You don't need any fancy expensive hardware etc. Hadoop can take your data and spread it out across many computers like a big puzzle. This way it's stored safely and processed super fast because all these computers can work on it together. This was about Apache Hadoop. Now second on the list we have is Apache Spark. So Apache Spark is a popular and efficient tool that can be used instead of Hadoop's MapReduce. It has a special feature called in-memory processing which means it can work with the data faster. This makes it a great choice for people who work with data like engineers and analysts. What's cool about Spark is that it can do a lot of different things. It can handle batch processing, interactive queries and real-time data streaming and even process data as it's coming in. This makes it a flexible and powerful tool. So in summary, Apache Spark is a fast and versatile tool that's great for people who work with data. It can do a lot of different things and is preferred choice for many professionals. Next we have is Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is a super smart messenger for data. It's designed to handle lots of information flying around in real time. Imagine you have a huge amount of data that needs to be sent from one place to another quickly and safely. That's where Kafka comes in. Think of it as a super highway for data where information can flow smoothly and reliably. It's like having a special mail system that never loses your letters or packages no matter how much you send. Kafka is super important because it helps businesses and applications keep up with the latest information. It's like having a news feed that never stops updating. So you always know what's happening right now. One of the cool things about Kafka is that it can handle a lot of data at once and it's really good at making sure none of that data gets lost along the way. So if you're building a system that needs to stay update in real time, Kafka is a key tool to have in your toolkit. Next big data technology in 2024 is Apache Hive. Apache Hive is a helpful tool that makes it easier for people to analyze and query data stored in Hadoop. It does this by providing a user-friendly interface that looks a lot like SQL called HiveQL. This means that even if you are not a tech expert, you can still use Hive to work with data in Hadoop. Hive takes the queries you write and turns them into tasks that can be processed by Hadoop's MapReduce or Apache tests. These are just fancy terms for the behind-the-scenes operations that happen in Hadoop to process and analyze data. So you don't have to worry about the nitty gritty details. Hive takes care of it for you. Here the Hadoop itself can store all sorts of data including structured and semi-structured in a system called HDFS. Hive is like a bridge that connects you to this data making it accessible and easy to work with. So in a nutshell, Apache Hive is a handy tool that lets people who may not be tech VCs easily query and analyze data stored in Hadoop HDFS. 
thanks to its sql like interface and smart data processing capabilities all right next we have is presto so presto is a powerful tool that helps people analyze data from different sources like hadoop cassandra and regular databases it's like a super smart detective that can find and make sense of data no matter where it's stored this is really useful because it means you can explore and study data without having to worry about where it is kept imagine you have a big puzzle with pieces scattered all over the room Presto is like the detective who can find all those pieces and put the puzzle together for you even if some pieces are under the couch. Presto acts like a super smart search engine for your data. It helps you find and use your data no matter where it is hiding. So if you want to understand your business better, Presto can help you get all the answers you need from your data. So if you are interested in mastering the world of data engineering, look no further than our post gadget program in data engineering. This comprehensive course is tailor made for professionals like you. In this course you will be diving deep into essential topics such as Hadoop framework, Spark based data processing, Kafka driven data pipelines and the intricacies of managing big data on AWS and Azure cloud infrastructures. Our unique approach blends live session, hands-on industry projects, exciting IBM hackathons and interactive ask me anything sessions to provide you with the most enriching learning experience. For admission to this data engineering course, candidates need a bachelor's degree with an average of 50% or higher marks, 2 plus years of work experience, then basic understanding of object oriented programming that is preferred. So elevate your data engineering skills and career prospects today. Enroll now. Hi, I am Asad Shah from Canada and I recently upskilled myself with the professional certification program in data engineering offered by Simply Learn in collaboration with Purdue University. After working for a long time in SQL domain, moving to big data was a great challenge for me. I needed to upgrade my skills to improve my performance in my current course. Curriculum is well formulated, well industry relevant concepts and project, which helped me grasp deeper knowledge about big data. Now I can easily carry out my big data projects as well as successfully lead a team of engineers. I even got a decent salary hike. The world is moving at a much faster pace than we think. Make sure you don't lag behind. So upskill yourself and move to a step forward and step closer to your dream. So the next big technology on the list for 2024 is Rapid Miner. So Rapid Miner is a user-friendly and open source platform for data science that helps organizations build and use predictive models even if they don't have advanced programming skills. This means that anyone who works with data can benefit from its features regardless of their level of expertise. One of the great things about Rapid Miner is that it can handle a variety of tasks related to data such as preparing and cleaning it, training it and like training machine learning models and deploying these models for practical use. This makes it versatile tool that can be used in different stages of data project. So whether you are a data scientist or just someone who occasionally works with data, Rapid Miner can simplify your workflow and make it easier to achieve your goals. It's designed to be accessible and user friendly, so you don't need to be a coding expert to get the most out of it. All right, coming to the last one, that is the last big data technology for 2024, which is Apache Cassandra. Apache Cassandra is a type of database that is specifically designed to handle a lot of data in a highly reliable and efficient manner. It is particularly well suited for situations where you need to store and access large amounts of information quickly and without any disruptions. One of the key features of Cassandra is its ability to handle a large amount of data points across multiple computers or nodes, which makes it a greater choice for applications that need to process a high volume of information. This distributed nature of Cassandra also ensures that even if one node fails, the system will still keep running smoothly, making it incredibly fault tolerant. Cassandra is often used in industries and applications that require fast and reliable data storage and retrieval. For example, in the Internet of Things, that is IoT, where a massive number of devices are constantly generating data. Cassandra can efficiently manage this influx of information. Similarly, e-commerce websites and social media platforms that need to handle numerous transactions and user interactions find Cassandra to be a valuable tool. So these were the top big data technologies in 2024. To sum up, these leading big data technologies, Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark, Apache Kafka, Apache Hive, Presto, etc. are the forefront of data processing and analytics today. They have transformed the way organizations handle and utilize data. Whether it's managing large data sets, enabling real-time processing, or casting data pipelines, or optimizing queries. So alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.